Bay City, Michigan, 1938, uh, right during the Depression. Uh, my father was a gas station mechanic and my mother was 18 years old and lived here all my life. We had four children in our family. Uh, I'm the oldest. Uh, uh, the next oldest was my sister Pamela um, and then Joel, who was a politician, well-known politician. And Jan was the youngest. Uh, seven years younger than, than me. Went to Western Michigan uh, University uh, for college, uh, industrial management. Uh, Jan got himself a, a early D and ice boat, and that was really the berries. Boy, that was more fun than anything, We're going 40, 50 miles an hour out in Saginaw Bay. So in 1969, we got together, a little building just down the street from here. Uh, started uh, production line of ice boats. In the first year, I think we built uh, 16 ice boats. Had a lot of happy customers, and next year we sold 28, and the next year we sold like 75. So we were off and running. We succeeded in, in uh, uh, developing an epoxy resin system that uh, we have named West System, the only marine epoxy that's distributed on a worldwide basis. My sister, she met uh, Janet, and she got in her head right then that this was the gal for my brother. Dated for about 18 months, and then I was off to college, and about 11 years later, when everybody was concerned about my bachelorhood, Janet and I got married. Um, she returned with three adopted children. 15 grandchildren now and counting, so the family is growing. We also set up a committee of employees that rotates, and it started then and is going on to this day, that give away a certain percent of our profits. I have been involved in, I guess, creating a culture within this company, um, and certainly I've invested in projects such as the YMCA, the library, the Riverwalk. Um, there's so many good projects. The Rowley family has shown the way, and I guess I always admired what they have done and the impact that it's made on this community. And I guess I thought, boy, that's a good lead to follow. And so we have. The dream that Peggy had is staring us right in the face and I guess I'm just proud to be a part of it and certainly uh, continue to support it in every way we can. <laughs>